What up guys, Billy Levin here, and today we're going to be fixing your Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This video will be relevant to you if you are facing any of the following error messages. First off, we're going to be looking at error code blzbntbgs 0 f 8 <laughs> If you have a VPN, try connecting somewhere relatively far away and playing with that on. I'm in Vegas, and by using a VPN located in New York, this error message went away and I received a different one instead. If not, try switching to another region in the Battle.net launcher. If it works somewhere else, you should be safe to assume that it's a connection issue and not a hardware issue. Lastly, open up your control panel and go to Network and Internet. Then Network and Sharing Center. Then change adapter settings on the left hand side. Find the internet connection you're using, right click on it, hit properties, look for the internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, click it, then enter properties. Click use the following DNS server addresses, and change your preferred DNS server to 1.1.1.1, and your alternate DNS server to 1.0.1.0. If none of these solutions worked and you're still getting the same error, keep following this tutorial because all of these error codes are essentially interchangeable and I received all of them in no particular order during my time fixing the game. So next we're going to be looking at error code KING177 Jaded Bomba. First thing you want to do is hit the Windows button and type Firewall. Find Allow an App through Windows Firewall and click on it. It should be like the second or third one down, but if you don't see it, you can always find it in Control Panel. System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall, and Allowed Apps. Click Change Settings, find Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and checkmark the Private and Public boxes. If it's not there, click Allow Another App and set the path to Black Ops 4, which by default should be C Program Files 86, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and Black Ops 4.exe. Next, we're looking at Yorker183 Lost Ant, as well as the cause for many of the fatal errors. You're going to want to go to your Black Ops 4 folder, which, as I previously mentioned, is located by default in C, Program Files 86, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Right click on Black Ops 4 Launcher.exe, go to the Compatibility tab at the top, and check Run This Program as an Administrator. You're going to want to do the same to your Black Ops 4.exe and your Black Ops 4 Boot.exe. Next, we're checking out Bravo 433 Skywolf. Someone gave the advice of uninstalling NVIDIA's GeForce Experience if you have it, but before uninstalling it, be sure to update your graphics drivers in the program and perform a clean installation. The latest drivers are there to help your card run Black Ops 4 better. Lastly, Try simply turning down your graphics settings in the game itself. If your GPU doesn't have enough VRAM, you'll face these same connection errors, even though they have nothing to do with what's actually happening behind the scenes. If you have 2000 megabytes of VRAM, you should be running the game at 50% render resolution with the lowest possible graphics settings. For SLI users, I recommend switching the display adapter and seeing if that fixes anything. In my case, I couldn't change the settings because I kept getting disconnected from the Battle.net servers, but when I used a VPN, I couldn't play the game, but it would at least let me lower my graphics settings. When I lowered my graphics settings, that stopped all of my crashes entirely and allowed me to play even without a VPN. If that doesn't work, there are only a couple things left that I can recommend. Um, first you're going to want to clear your host file, which is located in C, Windows, System32, Drivers. ETC. Basically, IP addresses uh, that you place in the host file will be blocked by Windows, um, and it should look like this by default, but if you pirated some programs or blocked Spotify ads, for example, it will have entries in it. If you have entries, just cut and paste them into another text file and save them for the time being. Next, you're going to want to forward your ports. There's a different process for this for every modem but I put in the description a link telling you which ports to forward for Black Ops 4. And lastly, if none of these solutions worked, you could try restarting your computer, scanning and repairing the game files in Battle.net, and just reinstalling the game. 
If it still does not work, I suggest using the link in the description, creating a ticket, and refunding the game.